Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to put Power Beyond Hydraulics on a closed center tractor uh, or a closed center Oliver 55 series and up. So, doing it on a 1755 here. Um, essentially, if your uh, Oliver or White has this hydraulic pump, you got a closed center system. Those are pretty easy to add on to because the pump. And a closed center system can essentially go to a zero pumping state and so you can deadhead the oil flow and oil or, or sorry open center hydraulic the oil always has to have somewhere to go so the plumbing is a little different on those but this one we got our line that comes up to the from the relief valve up here to feed the this goes in and feeds the three-point hitch and that wraps around the back to feed the uh, remotes and what we've always done in the past, I don't have this tightened up because uh, I got a little line on it, but there we go. Because I uh, just put this hose on and thought this would be a good time to make this video. What we've always done is gotten a JIC 10T and uh, one, one female end, two, two male ends. And then put it, I probably don't have enough hands again. Really gotta do something about that. But put it in a line right between where it used to go, right in there. And then you get the idea. This T that comes off, you just really wanna make sure it's aimed in a way that's not gonna hit the three point arms when they come up. But once that's in, you can go up like this, wherever. You can hook your uh, pressure line to this, and then if you're running like a loader valve, a hydraulic motor, whatever you're doing, this would be your pressure. Um, it's good to have some kind of shut off on it. We always do. That way you can shut the pressure off to it if, say, a hose busts in your system or something like that. So generally I run a hose out from here, out to back, and if, uh, if I'm running a coupler, I use a needle valve of some kind to shut the pressure off so, uh, now uh, let me uh, pause for a moment here okay I was able to snag one of these from the parts depot this is what shows up in the 55 series book it's got pipe thread on two ends half inch pipe thread and then the JIC 10 fittings on each end so you'd thread the old one out I'm sure you can find this fitting at a hydraulic shop if you look hard enough. But uh, thread the old uh, T out and put this cross in its place and then you can hook your hoses back up and you can put your power beyond on this outer here. If you do want to check with Agco, there's your part number for this. And uh, that's another way to do it. By the time of the 2105, shows in the parts book, they did a flareless fitting where you would actually cut this pipe, cut a chunk out of it, and then uh, put a T in right there. I'm not a big fan, fan of flareless fittings, so um, I've never done that one. But when you get your system done, sorry, I guess as well, long as we're on pressure, another option is, I don't care for this one either, it's a 3 8 pipe plug right here on the end of this valve stack. You can get pressure off from that, but since you're pulling out of a 3 8 uh, fitting, you already reduced your hydraulic flow, which can cause heat and slower loader action, whatever you want to call it. So uh, the closer you can get back to here with a big line, the less heat you're going to cause, less restriction. Just depends on what you're doing with it. So once you're done and you got to return your oil back, that's another nice thing about closed center. You can just return it back to the reservoir, which is this plug here. You'll want to drain your reservoir down because the oil is going to be up in here. You take that pipe plug out, half inch pipe plug there. Excuse me. The oil is going to run out if you don't have it drained down. Um, some people think this is a spot to hook up for your... Uh, power beyond it is not this is actually if you have the heavy duty external cylinder three-point hitch this is where the hose comes out to go down to each cylinder because the cylinders are on the outside on those so that is not power beyond that's pretty much the gist of it 
pretty straightforward. I'm not actually going to put the power band on this one, but I thought since I had I was putting a new hose on there, this would be a good time to demonstrate. It seems to be a question that comes up a lot. Hope you find it useful, and thanks for watching.